You know, there's a difference between good blowouts and a difference between bad blowouts. And the Jets versus the Eagles were one of the experience of a bad blowout. I felt like nobody was doing any good. I felt like there was a really bad, like, movement of everybody. There was good turnovers, forced fumbles coming straight from the defense of the Eagles. Uh, not the best showing offensively for the Philadelphia Eagles. Everybody was dropping footballs, especially coming out of Nelson Aguilar. That was a big, deep route throw that uh, Luke Folk tossed up over to, I think it was Quinn Williams. I, some of these guys dropped the football. No, not, not. Some of these assholes dropped the fucking football. It was either Demarius Thomas that dropped a deep, deep reception, or it was Jamison Crowder, because I felt like these guys couldn't catch shit. None of these guys ever went over 50 yards. Demarius Thomas only had four receptions. Le'Veon Bell was the most consistent because short route plays, short route plays is utilize Le'Veon when we have a crap offensive line. And our offensive line had let so many guys through. You think it would be your ex-girl and you knew she was a thought from the jump. Because watching this game was terrible. Luke Folk got sacked at least three or four times the entire game. CJ Mosley was out. Their top, their starting center was out. We know that Sam... Darnold is out, but Jesus Christ was just not impressive, especially coming from the Eagles. Carson Wentz put up a passable. He's been inconsistent nearly most of the season, and some of the times he grew, even though he lost to two straight uh, rebuilding teams, and then you beat a blowout a team above 500, uh, uh, above 500 with uh, subhuman fucking quarterback ratings of going 189 to a 17 in 29. With only one t passing touchdown over to Zach Ertz. Like, oh, the NFC East has a, uh, fuck me. There's so many, like, on and off teams like the Dallas Cowboys. And the only people that I'm actually excited for to watch was just last night with the fucking Giants playing off against the uh, fucking Patriots until that second half happened where the Patriots, I think, put, like, an extra 14 points on the Giants and they lost. In tough fact, in tough fashion, fashion, even though uh, Golden Tate and Daniel Jones played their heart out, still without uh, Saquon Barkley, it was a tough game to watch if you're a Giants fan. But fuck me, man. Jordan Howard had some pretty good, pa uh, pretty good rushing plays up the gut, and then there was a drop, a uh, drop pass from a short route. Uh, I think it was a drop pass coming for Darren Sproles where he only got one passing, like a like two passing attempts, and he dropped both balls. Dallas Goldberg got like one good, decent grab. Nelson Aguilar, that was supposed to be the consistent guy, hasn't shown up since week one when he played off against the Redskins. And by God, this was your Super Bowl contending team. The only person that's exciting for to watch is your tight end. Josh Howard's playing his heart out. You guys lost Jay Ajayi for the rest of the season. It felt like you guys are going to go 8-8 eight and eight right now. Or at least just scratch wild card. Seeing how the Cowboys, even though they played like crap against the Packers, they're still the top contenders to take over the NFC East. Some people call them a Super Bowl contender. I think not after what I just saw against the Packers. I think it's a wild card blowout. <laughs> oh, goodness. This... You're lucky that your defense picked up the slack and got two forced fumbles caused for a touchdown back up over to the field to a 31-6 game. Michael Jenkins had a pretty good pass deflection. Uh, one big pick coming from Rodney McLeod. And it got sent to the house. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox got a set. No, it wasn't Fletcher Cox. It was uh, Josh Sweet. And then Orlando... Scantrack that I thought somehow was uh, Ryan Kerrigan. So this game was uh, not good. That was my phone that I have to ignore. Because this game was just uh, tough to watch. And it was like five sacks. Hassan Rigway and fucking Deshaun Hall got a sack on him. 
this was just terrible for the Jets, and you can be like, oh, the Jets, they lost Sam Darnold. Even if it did, it would be a 14-31 to 31 victory. They don't have enough good route runners. Their young defense is getting exposed. Le'Veon Bell has been the most inconsistent runner, and it might be because they don't get to spread the floor more often, and Le'Veon Bell doesn't have that much of a good run-blocking offense like he did back in Pittsburgh. And it could be about that. The Jets were just hyped because they wanted Le'Veon Bell. Sam Darnold wanted to change out their identity to get that butt fumble smell out of them. But after seeing Luke Falk play, I miss... I, I wish uh, fucking Sam uh, Darnold played with a bad fucking anything in his body right now. Just saying. I'm just saying. Quinn Williams could barely touch anybody. Darren Roberts. Leonard Williams. Where was he? Jordan Willis, Kyle Phillips, Jamal Adams only had two tackles. That's a shocker. He didn't even get much of a pass deflection. The only person that did anything was Steve McC McLennan. And Steve McLennan been fine. But other than that, this has not been the best game. The Jets haven't picked stuff up since they played against the Cleveland, uh, the Cleveland Browns. Back at week two on Monday Night Football and uh, fucking the Bills back on opening, back in opening day. So I I can't I I'm I have no words to say except good luck on your future games because the Jets need at least three wins to think this isn't going to be a disappointing season like the last previous seasons. Because losing your potentially a uh, pretty good quarterback and a young defense that doesn't come to play. And gets shut out again off double digits, where they didn't even put up. Uh, they did put up one touchdown, but they failed. I think a two point conversion. It's just tough to watch. Thanks, I like uh, some of the guys, Jameson Crowder. I don't know. I pick up Demarius Thomas after he dropped a, a big ass fucking gain, or that was Robbie Williams. It's just tough with that streak route. It's just, you're lucky. You're, you're lucky it could have been worse. It could have been down by 50. But, the game is must continue. The Eagles go off to be 0 4. One of the winless teams in the NFL, while Philadelphia. I mean, no, that's the Jets. The Eagles go off to be 3 and 2. And at least they're second in the NFC East. While the Jets are the team that is winless. And they're bottom of the AFC East, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This has been <laughs> DST with his recap.